Well, as the viewers know by now, there's nothing I like more than being close to nature. So today we're down in Wales and John here is going to be showing us around. Hi, John. Hi, How yeah, are you? I'm good, thanks. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we're going to head down to the coast just here and it's um, an incredibly diverse um, zones of nature that live along the coast. A massively resilient zone. John, where are we right now? So we're in St Nons Bay, which is, um, if you look on a map of Wales, is the big bite off the west coast of Wales, and that's St Brides Bay, which is this huge bay right behind us here. Um, and we're on the north coast of Pembrokeshire, um, near the little place called St David's. So this little square metre of um, rock in front of us pretty much has all the strategies that are employed by marine life on the coast. And as I was saying, they have to be super resilient to survive baking hot, sunny, hot days yeah. um, and winter storms where there's massive amounts of power in the waves hitting the rocks. So a limpet, say for example, which everybody spends their childhood, if you're by the coast trying to knock them off the rock and never really succeeding, they succeed because they're um, underneath this limpet here, um, it's got a little homing scar. So it's a bare bit of rock with no lichens on it, no more seaweed, so that it can get a really good watertight seal every time. So if, as soon as the tide starts going out, it will rush in there and get itself settled in so that it's nice and secure until um, the next high tide. So they have a s small, strong strategy, whereas seaweed, as you can see here, survives by having a really good hold fast, which is the um, little bit right, right at the base of the seaweed there really strong hold fast to hold on really really well and then super flexible so it's a bit like a bit like when you're coast when we're out coast steering we teach you people to be loose and relaxed around the water rather than trying to be small and strong and then you actually you survive a lot better A lot of people in London and busy cities, they suffer from depression, they're very stressed. Do you think it's good for them to come here sometimes just to unwind a bit? Definitely. I think there's been research done on people that live on the east coast of a country and that those that live on the west have a much more um, forward-thinking outlook on life and a bit happier. And seeing the sun set every day just makes you feel good. 